Hey Hunters, Lord here, back with another Monster Hunter Wilds beta video. In Monster Hunter Wilds, all 14 weapon types have gone through some pretty substantial moveset changes. However, they do still retain the core of what makes them each unique, but the movesets and attacks differ quite a bit from the more recent Monster Hunter games. That's why in this video I'm going to cover the new charge blade moves, combos, and the general playstyle theory that we have so far in Monster Hunter Wilds. As a small disclaimer, this is not going to be a full charge blade tutorial as I won't be covering all the basics in every single move and every single combo, but I will mostly be talking about the new moves, the new ways that combos have been worked and reworked, and the best playstyle we have this far. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So firstly, before we really get into it, I'm going to be talking about face buttons and triggers so that way I don't have to deal with comments asking, hey, I noticed you're talking about PlayStation controls. What is it on Xbox, et cetera, et cetera. So here's some screenshots of the face buttons of each controller. So that way you know what I'm talking about when I say the top face button or the right face button. So of course, Charge Blade as a whole still retains a lot of the same moveset as prior games. You can hold the right face button to do the charge double slash. You can press the top and right face buttons to do a forward slash. You can press the right trigger and the top face button to do your morph slash, etc, etc. Those moves will all feel very similar to previous titles. The biggest new addition to sword mode in Wilds is the new shield elemental boost, which is a rapid way to charge your shield with files without having to do the elemental round slash. Now there are two different ways to perform the shield elemental boost. The first is after pressing your right trigger and right face buttons to store files. During the file storing animation, you can release, then press and hold the right face button again to instantly charge your shield with those files. The second way is after doing the forward slash into shield punch combo, which is top and right face button together, top and right face button together. You can press the right trigger top and right face buttons together all at the same time to instantly charge your shield with any stored files in place of doing the elemental round slash. The reason you'll want to do this instead of the elemental round slash is that the shield elemental boost also is a guard point as you can see by the flashing white aura around the weapon when the shield is in front of the player. Now let's talk briefly about guard points. They overall remain pretty much the same from previous games. I would say it's even easier to tell when a move does work as a guard point as, like you just saw, your shield flashes with a white light whenever the guard point window is active. If you want to learn more about guard pointing for Charge Blade in Monster Hunter Wilds, you can check out the video in the top right now or link down in the pinned comment. The biggest change to Charge Blade, in my opinion, from, say, the world version of Charge Blade is how you achieve your Savage Axe and how to get to your Super Amped Element Discharge, also known as an SAED. There are three ways to get to Savage Axe in Monster Hunter Wilds. The first is after performing a perfect guard, you can press your top face button to do a Savage Axe slash. The second is after landing a focus strike on a wounded part you'll go into a pizza cutter attack that will activate Savage Axe. Or the third is if you're mounted on a monster and use your knife to create a wound, you can then use your weapon attack on that wound and that will also do a pizza cutter to activate Savage Axe. As you can see, there's quite a few ways to pull this off and ideally you will want to have Savage Axe up as much as possible as it is currently the best damage output for Charge Blade in Wilds. So now that you have your Savage Axe up, it is extremely important that you are utilizing the new Focus Mode. Focus Mode allows you to aim exactly where you want your axe hits to go, which is crucial for dealing optimal damage. While you have Savage Axe up and are in Axe Mode, you need to remember that, just like in Monster Hunter Rise, you have to hold down your attack buttons to get the Savage Axe to hit the most amount of times. If you just tap your attack button and let go, the Savage Axe will only hit one or two times, but if you hold it down, you can get like four to five hits of damage, and believe me, it adds up. The best damage combo that I've found so far is doing the right face button to go into your element discharge, the right face button again to go into element discharge two, and then holding the top face button to go into either your rising slash or moving forward to go into your overhead slash. Repeating that over and over again is the best damage for if the monster is in place or if he's unable to hit you. 
you know, it will definitely change a little bit just kind of depending on your scenario. Now, the reason that these smaller hits, the non-AEDs or SADs are so good is because Savage Axe still deals file damage, but it doesn't use up any files on these hits. It will only use up files on AEDs or SADs. Now, speaking of SAED, you can actually no longer just go straight into your SAED from Sorter X mode. It now has two different ways to trigger it. The first is after performing a perfect guard or a guard point. If you have files and a charged shield, you can simply press the top and right face buttons to go directly into an SAED, just like you could in previous games. But the second way is after any AED combo. So the way that we used to SAD was doing forward slash into the shield punch into SAD, or it was just three presses of the top and right face buttons together back to back to back. This will now perform an AED instead of an SAD, which you can then follow up in two different ways. You can either press your right face button after the AED to perform an AED follow up, which can then be followed up with an SAED by pressing the top and right face buttons. Or after that first AED, you can skip the second step and just press the top and right face buttons together to go directly into your super amped element discharge. Now, because of the way that SAD has been kind of hidden in these combos or stuck behind perfect guarding and guard points, SAD playstyle is not going to be as prevalent as it was in World and Rise, but it is still usable. I spent a lot of my first four or so hours during the beta using only SAED playstyle, and it wasn't bad at all. Savage Axe, however, seems to be the clear-cut damage king as of this video, so if you're looking to play optimal charge blade in Monster Hunter Wilds, then Savage Axe is going to be the way to go. However, if you're just looking to have fun and you think SAED playstyle is very enjoyable, you can still go full caveman ungabunga and chuck files all over the monster's head. It's a game, and you should play it in the way that you find the most fun. Don't feel like you have to confine yourself to the meta or the highest damage. If you like a playstyle, play that way. It's your game. You enjoy it. So that's going to do it for this Charge Blade refresher here in Monster Hunter Wilds. If you found the video helpful, please do consider giving it a thumbs up to help YouTube know to recommend it to other hunters. If you're new to my channel, new to Monster Hunter, or if you want to see more content just like this, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're getting so close to 20,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I'd love to have you on board. Remember that this channel is going to be one of the best places to find sets, guides, tutorials, and much, much more Monster Hunter content when Wilds releases in February, and the best way to make sure you never miss an upload is, of course, to be subscribed. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.